Welcome to a presentation of our abstract, Quantification of Nutritive Sucking Among Preterm and Full-Term Infants, presented by Dr. Ashley Sherman from the National University of Natural Medicine and Oregon Health and Science University in Portland, Oregon. Learning how to eat is a major challenge for preterm infants, who are infants born before 37 weeks of pregnancy. Feeding problems can cause longer hospital stays and are, at times, a sign of developmental concerns. Most feeding problems are diagnosed visually without the possibility of a permanent record or one that can be analyzed quantitatively. Quantitating infant sucking using a mechanical bottle device and computer software may help us understand what normal and abnormal sucking look like. These measurements would allow for better assessment of feeding problems and to provide extra support for infants who have abnormal sucking. We used a device called Neurometer, which is a bottle attached to a computer that measures the negative pressure in an infant's mouth while they are drinking milk. We tested the feeding of 82 preterm and 117 full-term infants. Full-term infants are infants who are born after 37 weeks of pregnancy. We tested these infants over several weeks. We saw that preterm infants had different sucking patterns over time compared to full-term infants. When preterm infants reached term age, which is about 40 weeks, their sucking looked similar to infants who were actually born at term. We also saw that the sucking of preterm born infants was more variable or less smooth than the term born infants. In conclusion, similar to a growth chart, preterm infants change in feeding skills over time was different than that of infants born at term. This could mean that even at term age, a preterm infant may have a mix of mature and immature feeding skills. The next step is to measure the feeding of infants at higher risk for developmental delays to see whether the orometer can identify infants who will go on to have those developmental delays. Identifying infants early who will go on to have developmental delays may lead to these infants receiving intervention sooner.